Antibiotic resistance has become a serious threat to human health around the world, especially from the perspectives of clinicians, as the prevalence of superbugs increases the risks for surgery, chemotherapy, and other life-saving treatments. Rapid point-of-care diagnostics can help change this, especially in places like India, where identifying infections and prescribing the right antibiotic the first time around could help slow the dramatic increase in resistance. At the opening exhibition of Superbugs at the National Science Center in Delhi, we caught up with some innovators and clinicians about their thoughts on the impact of antibiotic resistance on healthcare and the people facing these issues in India. If antibiotics stop working, we're going to have difficulty doing operations, routine operations. Children will die because of simple bacterial infections which would ordinarily have been cured. It's a very big challenge for India as well as for globe because bacteria to move from one country to other don't need passports. At the end of the day, what is at stake is actually human lives. It's a real problem which touches the life of common people. India today reported recently that the rate of mortality due to drug-resistant infections is about 13% independent of the reason for admission in a hospital. So for a per person in India, if you are admitted to a hospital, that translates to 1 in 10 chance of actually dying for something which is a drug-resistant infection. There is no easy way, no rapid way available to us with regard to detection of antibiotic susceptibility and resistance uh, at a very short time. The biggest driver for me actually came when my daughter, who was all of one year old, got UTI. And for about three days, we did not know what was going on, what should be done. And our pediatrician, who was a very smart and astute physician, actually said, let us not give her any antibiotic until we get a culture report. I think diagnosis in general has to come of age. We have to move away from sending things to the laboratory and waiting for the answer to come back. It's said that up to 60% of blood tests never participate in a diagnosis because they just don't show up on time. So you have to have the right blood test at the right time to make the best first decision. And those three days taught me what it means to be having to wait for that period for your child or for your loved one to get the right medicine. So that set us on this journey to say that we need something that will work in 30 minutes, that will work in one hour at best, but which will give us a solution that tells the physician which antibiotic to use, if at all. Guideline recommends several things to be done within one hour, just one hour or 60 minutes from the time you diagnose aseptic patients. That means that we have very little time available to institute the right antibiotic. And there are a number of things which are to be done within that one hour. Taking blood culture, for example, is one of them. So if we had a test which could actually detect antimicrobial resistance and guide us to treatment within that golden hour, it would actually help us a lot. The Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council and the Longitude Prize are helping innovators work towards finding sustainable solutions for diagnostics to help reduce antibiotic resistance. The Longitude Prize is absolutely essential and had been instrumental in initiating the thinking that diagnostics is important um, for uh, tackling the antimicrobial resistance challenge. Our BIRAC mandate is to encourage this biotech innovation system. To meet that mandate, we work in three verticals, that is investment schemes, entrepreneurship development, and strategic partnerships. Actually, so through these schemes, we encourage a lot of startups. 